My husband is an eighth Welsh. I think, I think it's an eighth. <laughs> Mark, are you an eighth Welsh? <laughs> half? Oh. oh my God, he's half Welsh. I'm Victoria Derbyshire, I'm a journalist. I've spent years interviewing people and breaking stories. If one of the blokes in the camp pees on the Lucy, I am gonna have to say something. I don't know if there's gonna be a proper loot, I have no idea. Is there? Is it just gonna be a hole in the ground? Do castles have loos? I have no idea. I would never have said yes to this before having breast cancer. There is no way. But life is short. I'm all for, for new experiences. I'm, I'm, I'm not risk averse. I'm, I want to, you know, immerse myself in adventures like this. I mean, I've been topless on national TV. That, that, that means I'm certainly up for trying to do anything. Whether I can actually achieve anything is, well, we'll find out. I feel very apprehensive when I think about the trials. I feel nervous about being in the tank when the water is filling up and it's getting higher and higher and you're against the clock. I don't know how I feel about having creatures crawling across me or ants in my knickers. Most of the trials, when you're watching them, you are thinking, there's no way I could do that. And then you see people doing it, so you think, well, the, what? I don't know what changes from sitting on your sofa when you're watching it on the telly to being in there. Somehow people make themselves do some really disgusting stuff. <laughs> I can imagine that I will really, really want to focus and I will want Ants and Deck not to be funny so I can concentrate and try and get into some kind of zone. But obviously I'm going to scream. You know, everybody screams, don't they? I'm cool about screaming. It's not a shameful thing to scream. I'm never gonna say, I'm a celebrity, get me out of it. I'm just not, I'm not gonna do that because I, I would never live it down with my children. My boys would just not allow me to do that. <laughs>